we've seen, first of all, the centripetal force formula mv squared over r and the corresponding acceleration v squared over r. There are two more equations that turn out to be very useful because they will describe the centripetal force in terms of period. <laughs> and period is the time for something to go around a circle once. And that's something that's easy for us to measure. So these equations are useful. I'll go through the derivation. It's very simple. After I have worked through it, it might be very good for you to take a pen and paper and try it yourself. And so you can understand what these equations are. There are actually five equations that we will end up with now on centripetal force. We begin with the formula that Fc is equal to mv squared over r. And I want to rewrite this in terms of a period of motion. So here's a circle, and it has radius r. Two things we need to know. First, the distance around is called the circumference. And it is given by 2 pi r. And that's distance. The time for something to go all the way around one time in the circle is called the period. And it is given the symbol t. So I can find speed because this is distance time. So this uh, speed would be distance over time, which equals 2 pi r over t. This is the angular velocity, angular speed. And so 2 pi r over t, let me replace the v in our first formula with 2 pi r over t. So I'll bring the 2 pi r up, and I'm going to replace v with 2 pi r over t. And what I end up with is uh, 2 pi r over t all squared. Now you should try this yourself with pen and uh, paper and, and follow the steps through. But here's what I have. It's m times... 2 pi r over t, all squared. So when I square it, I get, well, 4 pi squared, r squared, over t squared. And I notice that the r will cancel one of the r's in r squared. And I'm left with m 4 pi squared r over t squared. And there is my formula. So we have now the five equations. The centripetal force is mv squared over r, and that corresponding acceleration then is v squared over r. The orbital velocity is, or orbital speed, 2 pi r over t. At t is the period. r is, of course, the radius. And finally, we have the centripetal force in terms of the period, which is m4 pi squared r over t squared, and the corresponding acceleration, uh, 4 pi squared r over t squared. So you can have these in front of you, and we're ready to look at problems now.